For the first time, the EERC protocol brings confidential token transfers to blockchains, unlocking groundbreaking opportunities such as secure real-world asset tokenization, private stablecoins, salary payments, and more. EERC initialization is compiled of three steps. The first step is to deploy EERC contracts. As you can see here, there are several contracts that need to be deployed, and for this example, this step has already been completed. It should also be noted that this is a one-time operation, so you won't need to do this again if you've already done it. The second step is to select which type of EERC you want to use. EERC comes in two types. The first type is a standalone confidential version of a regular ERC-20 token. You can deploy this and use this version directly from the AvaCloud portal. The other option is a converter, which allows you to convert existing ERC-20s to their corresponding confidential version. A prerequisite for the converter type is that it needs to be set up using the SDK. Additionally, both types will support audibility. For this demo, the standalone version has been selected and a token name and token symbol will be inputted to activate the EERC. The third step is to submit the setup. After the approval process, the privacy setup will be completed. An overview will also appear displaying the type, token name, token symbol, contract address, and various other details pertaining to the newly created EERC. This is how easy it is to create an encrypted token. Then you can click Go to Dashboard, which will take you to an overview of the new encrypted tokens page. To start using an EERC, an auditor needs to be assigned. And in this case, we're going to pick ourselves as the auditor. After the auditor key is set, we can start using the new EERC. Now, let's mint some encrypted tokens to our account. The only people that can see the amount of tokens being minted is us and the auditor. All cryptographic operations such as encryption, decryption, and proof generation happen extremely efficiently on the client side. Once minted, we can see that our balance is now updated. Wallet fetches will find our encrypted balance from the blockchain to decrypt and display it to us. This is how others will also see our balance. It's a secure ciphertext. Now let's try minting some tokens for another user. As you can see, it failed. This is because the account needs to generate their encryption public key and save it to the EERC contract. Hence, they need to first register to the registrar contract in order to start using encrypted tokens. I quickly change the account from Core Wallet and register the account. It first derives our encryption and decryption key pair and then sends the registration transaction. Now we can navigate back to our main account and now you can see that the auditor monitoring page has appeared. We can fetch and decrypt encrypted transactions from the blockchain. Now we are seeing our previous mint transactions here. We can also mint encrypted tokens to another user. Enter the token amount, the address, and then click Mint. Let's see if we can see it from the monitoring page. And yes, it's there. Let's quickly navigate to our other account where we can see that the funds have arrived. Let's transfer some encrypted tokens to our main account. As you can see, all of these operations are fast and swift. You barely notice any additional latency. When we navigate back to the main account, we can confirm that we have received the tokens. Again, from the auditor screen, we can see that there was a transfer call on the chain. No one can see the transferred amount other than the sender and receiver and the optional auditor. We can also burn encrypted tokens. And again, the amount being burned is hidden from a third party. Encrypted minting and burning allows totally private and secure supply management. Now let's change the auditor account. We will assign the other account as our auditor. An auditor can only decrypt transactions that occurred since it's assigned as the auditor. So the new account will only be able to see the transactions from now on. It's also possible to split the auditor key between a few entities like I mentioned earlier and utilize standard T out of N threshold decryption protocol for increased robustness. 
And now let's try a private transfer, which will only appear in the new auditor's account once we fetch those transactions. Again, as you can see, even though we fetched the transactions from the previous auditor screen, we can't see our latest transaction as it's encrypted using the new auditor keys. Let's switch to the other account and it can see the transaction detail, but not the previous ones. Through AvaCloud's privacy solutions like the EERC protocol, you can now encrypt arbitrarily large values while enabling seamless transfers. There's unmatched efficiency delivering low gas consumption and high performance, universal compatibility deployable on any EVM blockchain, as well as seamless integration with support for existing wallets and an easy to use SDK. Plus, it is all auditable. And that's just the beginning.